Hello and welcome to this video on two-way tables. Now let's just look at this problem we have here and let's think how to approach it. So in a class of 100 students, everyone studies one of French, German or Spanish. 60 of the students are boys, 36 students study French, 10 girls study Spanish and 21 girls study French. 40 boys study German. How many German speakers are there? Now notice that we have two things that vary here. We've got their gender, so whether they're male or female, and we've also got what subject they study, whether they study French, Spanish, or German. And when you have two variables like that, and kind of data about the number of people within each of those, that's when you can use a two-way table. And the way you would draw it is to have, well, a table, and to have, say, male and female down here as the rows, or it could be the columns. And then you would have the other variable, in this case, the subject across the top. So French, German, Spanish. And we'd also want to have a total row. And we also want to have a total column. And once we've done that, we can use this data here to completely fill in our table. So, we're told in a class of 100 students, so the grand total of everyone is 100. So, the total total of everyone is 100. 60 of the students are boys. So, in the male row, the total number of boys is 60. And then we're told that 36 students study French. So, the total number of French speakers would be 36. We're told that 10 girls study Spanish. So, of the girls, 10 study Spanish, and we're told that 21 girls study French. So 21 girls study French. And 40 boys study German. So of the males, 40 study German. And we want to know how many German speakers are there. So we want to know the total number of German speakers. We want to know this number here. Now at this point, we can just use our table and we can just use the fact that we know that the total of each column is just the sum of these numbers and the total of each row is just the sum of these numbers. So, we know there's 100 students and we know six of those students are male, so we therefore know that 40 of them must be female. We just do 100 minus 60 to get 40. Now, we also know there's a total of 40 females and 21 study French and 10 study Spanish. So to get the number of German females, we just have to do 40 minus 10 minus 21, and that gives us nine. So these now add up to 40. We can also work out the number of males who study French because we can do 36 minus 21, and that gives us 15. And that means we can work out the number of boys who study Spanish. So if we just do 60 minus the 40 and the 15, 60 minus 40 minus 15, and that gives us 5. And now we can add these up to get the total in each column. So 40 plus 9 is 49, and 5 plus 10 is 15. And that's the number we wanted. We wanted the total number of German speakers, and we can see that it's 49. 